Recently, Amazon and Microsoft joined hands to roll out Loan, an open source machine learning framework. This tool allows developers to easily and quickly build machine learning models without compromising performance. But why would these staunch tech rivals join hands and that too for something that's open source, meaning no direct revenue stream for either company? In November 2015, Google launched TensorFlow, its proprietary machine learning framework. Since then, TensorFlow has gained on popularity by being the most popular machine learning framework on GitHub. TensorFlow was Google's way to dominate artificial intelligence and also drive customers to Google Cloud. TensorFlow is this machine learning library that's used across Google for applying deep learning to a lot of different areas. Doing both artificial intelligence research and deploying these production models. They're really powerful at doing various kinds of perceptual and language understanding tasks. These models are able to actually make it so computers can actually see and are actually able to understand what is in an image when you're looking at it, what is in a short video clip. And that enables all kinds of powerful product features. Google has the first mover advantage to release an industry-grade AI platform and become an authority in the field of artificial intelligence. Also. Google wants to replicate its success with Android and wishes to make TensorFlow the Android of AI. AI has become a part of our lexicon and companies are looking for ways to incorporate artificial intelligence capabilities to speed up business processes. I do really believe this point that the future is going to be about uh, what we call cognitive, this idea that you are going to be able to take things and have systems that you don't program, they understand, they reason, they learn, and they are going to help and change every part of what you do in your business. Your operations, your processes, your products you put out, your services you put out. To us, artificial intelligence, it's not a feature. I mean, this is a fundamental tenet of how this world's going to operate and it'll be better for it. That's exactly what AWS and Microsoft wish to achieve by open sourcing its deep learning framework, which is to give enterprises another choice. Here's another catch. Neural networks require massive computing power, and this is where cloud GPU instances are required for training sessions. Microsoft's core market is from software licensing. Google's revenue are driven by ads, and AWS is the biggest cloud player. But that is being threatened by Google Cloud ML chipping away at its number one spot. Even getting a small percentage of cloud market can lead to billion of dollars. As machine learning becomes more important for enterprises, Whichever company provides the best framework will stand to gain a lot of business. Google has already started calling itself an AI company and it's evident that the future of tech lies in AI. What we are witnessing right now is just the beginning of how tech giants are trying to win this space. And this tech war is only going to intensify in future.